All right, well, I'm not feeling my best today. I'm kind of sad for a reason that I don't want to go into, but um, otherwise, well, we shouldn't even be sad today because today is cr um, North Star. I almost, <laughs> I almost say Crimson Heist. Today is the release of North Star, uh, Monday, June 14th. So um, this is going to be part one of two. Uh, this is where I'm basically just going to be reacting to, I guess, the battle pass and like all the cosmetics and stuff. And also, I guess we could look at the changes too. I'm not sure if I'm really going to play, you know, the new map today. Because, well, like I said, I'm kind of feeling I'm not at my best right now. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see about it. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, I got some Xbox money thanks to my grades in school because I'm a good boy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, now we have enough for the battle pass and hopefully, uh... Oh, and the six Guardian bundle. That's right. I forgot about that, actually. Okay, so for about an hour now, I've waited. To... The update was at 10 a.m. Now it is 12 p.m. It took... It, well, they said it would take, like, an hour, so... I mean, yeah, but no, but... It... Since the update was at 10, then the maintenance should have should have ended at 11, but now it's 12 p.m. Uh, don't wow, they still haven't fixed that yet. Surprisingly, oh, okay. fucking finally, 76 days. Uh, I think they said this battle pass would last today, June 14th through August 30th. So that's pretty much the entirety of this of this summer. So yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. So okay, so it's the same as last season. You buy the battle pass, you get. Thunderbird and you can also get you know the premium pass which gives you like 15 tiers or something uh, You also get this bundle. I don't know if it's gonna. Ooh, That's a weapon skin. Oh, that's for frost. So There's a 3d skin for ash. Okay, damn it. Dude, speaking of money I have so much games that I need to buy this year like Battlefield uh, F1 2021 R6 extraction Forza Horizon 5. I'm really excited for that and like maybe Halo Infinite, so like five games, roughly five games I gotta buy this year. Thankfully I have lots of money so I can pay for it myself. So yeah, <laughs> but I'm also gonna try and work hard. Okay, there we go, uh, that's added. And now we shall buy it. There you go, there's Thunderbird, there she is. So Thunderbird, so she has the Spear, the Spaz, the Bearing, and the Q. And then Impact and the Nitro, okay. And we also got those uh, bundles for her and stuff. And there's Ember Rise 2.0. So it should, we should open these Alpha Packs, shall we? See what we get. Okay, fair. These, ooh, Rook Jimmy. Okay, that's cute. Cute. Oh, is it legendary? Oh. Okay, what is this? Shadow Brine? Oh god. Why does it look like a straight out Call of Duty ghost? For Christ's sakes. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that. Is it legendary? <gasps> it is. Moo! Modern head <laughs> Modern head wrap. Okay. I mean, I, I would I, I wanted like a headgear or uniform, so I, I guess I could take it. No, I mean, to be fair, Nomad is actually in this art right here. I think that's her on the right, I believe. So, yeah. Oh, and speak it. Oh, and actually, let's go to the store. Do they have the six guardian bundle? I heard there was. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So apparently, if you buy this, which I encourage you to buy, uh, all the profits will go to Stack Up, which is actually a charity which supports uh, veterans through gaming. And I, when I was watching the live stream yesterday, I believe, or Saturday, I forget. Um, you know, it, it looks like a really nice chari- uh, yeah, a really nice charity, like, they really support the veterans through gaming, and, uh, I encourage you to go check it out, uh, I have- I'll have a link in the description below, but I also encourage you to buy this, which I will actually buy it in a second. Oh, I forgot to look at the seasonal skin, I'm actually stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid, might as well look at it on the spear here. Okay, I might have to buy a little bit more, R6 credits, or I could just grind, I don't know. So this is what it looks like. Wisdom and Hospitality. This is pr this is another great seasonal skin. Not even gonna lie. It, it, it gives me vibes of uh, Skull Rain and like Velvet Shell and uh, Red Crow a little bit. I definitely like this. I also like how like you can see right there, the colors like kind of blend. It's like green and then it turns into like a dark purple, dark blue right there on the back. And then it also says use only in case of emergency year six season two weapon. So. Oh, not too bad. We got another great seasonal skin. I miss when we had like 
three or four seasonal skins now we just get one but i think it's for the best honestly seeing how you know neon dawns was all right with the gold impact but then like crimson heist with the kind of like black ice volcano one and now this one this one looks really really sick i'm gonna have to get this one too my, my show oh my god i couldn't even pronounce his name uh ooh. well hello there that's frost oh my not gonna lie she's looking cute <laughs> Oh, what is wrong with me? Then there's this one. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot I had the puppet headgear. This one actually is not even too- Oh, wow. Okay, that's pure Canadian right there. I like the flannel part of that. That looks really nice. The puppet headgear makes this look so- Bruh. Oh my god. But I actually like this. I I'm gonna equip that. That looks very nice. Oh, fucking rat. Uh, oh, they gave him- They gave my boy- some cosmetics finally, Taiga Crossing? Oh, that looks so nice. Finally, they gave him some good cosmetics. My favorite German boy, next to Sebastian. <laughs> Ayana, she's got the snake skin. Not thick enough though, not thick enough. Oh, uh, longbow, this is, oh, this is that one. Oh man, it's a crossbow, but it's like vigils. Oh my God. It would be really cool if you could actually have like a firing mode on this where it actually shoots arrows and stuff. You can have a select fire mode of bullets and then arrows. That would be so sick. Okay, frost and moss. Uh, okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> Search and rescue. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Oh, that's gonna be definitely worth grinding for. That's gonna be so awesome to grind for. Man. Okay, a lot of good cosmetics. Oh, and then you also get uh, alpha bonus alpha packs for that. Uh, if once you reach the tier 100, you also get uh, bonus alpha packs. Oh, and there's also a knock uniform, which is disgusting. I don't like that. But a lot of good stuff in this battle pass, I must say. The designers at Ubisoft, you know, fucking props to them. They're really making some good, good skins so far and stuff. I really do like that. That's pretty awesome. Alright, all here we go. Here's Flash Hider. Okay, that seems a little better, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, Flash Hider is much better on here, so that's good. I forget how the the Flash Hider and the Compensator works now. I actually forget how, how it works. I'm not sure if Flash Hider, like, makes the horizontal recoil reduced or if it goes, or if it makes, like, the up and down recoil reduced. I'm not sure. I forget. Okay, yeah, that felt much better than the last try, I should say. Alright, well, it, I, it's not too bad. I think Flash Hider is definitely the way to go, but I think I might actually start using the G36 now. Oh, and they have a new um, player card thing. That's nice. But yeah, I think I might start using the G36 more. I mean, I've been using it before. I love how you can have, you know, the 1.5 sight, the angled grip, and how fast it fires. So maybe I'll use that a little bit more instead of the R4C. Oh shit, we got Favela. I didn't even mean to... Actually, I, oh, I guess it automatically put it in the T-Hunt rotation, but now we're gonna test the Bearing 9, because apparently this and the SMG-12's recoil got buffed, and uh, <laughs> well, it, it looks really good. It kinda reminds me of like, what, uh, the old recoil before Grim Sky, so uh, hopefully we do, hopefully this is good. All right, here we are. So this, okay, so this area is the same, I would say, but over here, I believe, yeah, this used to be one of the most destructive parts of the map you could do, or you could break. But now it's just covered off with some windows, and yeah. <laughs> Man, I forgot I even had this skin on, it's the Outbreak skin. Okay, so here we go. Oh, yes! It's finally usable again. Oh my god. I like how the scope moves, that reminds me of, like, when it, like pre Grim Sky recoil. That, it reminds me of that. Oh, and this! Okay. They got rid of the top part there. There used to be like, you know, this staircase here. Oh, there's a guy entering. And you used to be able to throw the C4s down to there and stuff. It would, it'd be kind of annoying, but at least they got rid of it though. Also this guy over here. Oh, it feels so good. I think they got rid of C4 and barbed wire and T-Hunt now, I forget. But if they did, then that's that's very good then. Because now I won't have to worry about, you know, being blown up or anything. Oh my god, dude, it feels so good to, to finally use this, especially on console. Like, you couldn't really use this thing on console. 
Unless, like, you were just lucky with the sprays and stuff. Because it definitely seems very good. Okay. Hey, well, the Barry 9 is pretty good, I must say. Okay, and the final test. Dokubi, or, well, the SMG-12. <laughs> um, I actually, yeah, yeah, use the hollow. Yeah, I was going to switch to a reflex. See, maybe, if it's different. Here we are, back on Favela. I'm, I'm actually glad that this is a night map again, finally. But, in general, we should have night maps back in casual. I miss them. Alright, otherwise... Oh. Um... Okay, then. Okay, well, I, I mean, it's meh, like, M-E-H. But, at least it doesn't kick up like a mule like it used to did. I, I guess now you, have, you just have to, like, tap fire. Oh, oh. Jesus. I'm so garbage at tap firing. But, yeah, I guess it's not too bad. But yeah, I'm glad the SMG-12 and the Baron 9 are actually usable again and just guns that I will not ever use. I mean, I'll definitely use the Baron 9 more now, seeing that it's really, really controllable. In general, I, I mean, the SMG-12, or the, oh, <laughs> the SMG-11 is already good as it is, but it would be nice to see that get a little recoil buff, maybe, similar to the Baron 9. I mean, obviously, it's fine. Like I said, the SMG-11 is fine as it is now, but I don't know, it would be nice to at least see it. You know, get a little recoil buff, maybe. Ah. Uh. Okay. I mean, it, it, it's not like the Bearing 9 where you can just spray and stuff. You I, you kind of have to tap fire it, which is fine with me. I guess I should get better at tap firing. 